Hi, I'm Mark Tross. This is the New Mexico Minute. Today we're talking about cowboy lingo. Cowboys out on New Mexico's rangelands in the 1800s had a language all their own which covered most of the details of their life's work. Breaking a bronc was riding a beast with a belly full of bed springs. Moods, a frisky cowboy was full of horns and rattles. Love life. The cure for Cupid's cramps was marriage, dropping his rope on a heifer, food, son of a stew, which consisted of everything that was edible except hair, horns, and holler, or calf slobber, the meringue on lemon pie, a rare treat, no beans in the wheel, meant his gun was out of bullets, but if he had beans and used them illegally, he could soon become a cottonwood blossom dangling from a limb. Cowboys also liked playing pranks on greeners, lizards, and boots, cactus, and bed rolls, and maggot-filled beef in pockets were among their favorites. The new guys soon learned that complaining only because more tricks, it was best to simply keep quiet and plot revenge. Cowpunchers had no patience with their complainers or talkers. They were men of action, and no matter what lingo they used, the typical cowboy was a man of few words.